In this example, we will use Desmos.com to determine probabilities in a percentile of a sample mean distribution. In a recent study, the mean age of tablet users is 30 years. Suppose the standard deviation is 10 years. Samples of size n equals 50 are taken. Number one, what are the mean and standard deviation for the sample mean ages of tablet users? We know the distribution of the sample mean ages tends to a normal distribution where the mean of the sample ages is the same as the mean of the population given by mu sub x and the sample mean ages standard deviation is equal to the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size given by sigma sub x divided by the square root of n. So the mean of the sample mean ages, which we will call mu sub x bar, is equal to 30 years. The same mean as the population and sigma sub x bar the standard deviation of the sample mean ages is equal to, again, the standard deviation of the population, which is 10, divided by the square root of the sample size, which is the square root of 50. Now this does simplify, but there's no need to simplify it, though we will get a decimal approximation, which is approximately 1.4142. And of course, this would be years. Number two, what does the distribution look like? We know from the central limit theorem, the distribution of the sample means tends to a normal distribution. Number three, we're asked to find the probability that the sample mean age is more than 27 years, which is the probability that x bar is greater than 27. We will find this probability using Desmos. To begin, we will graph the distribution of the sample means. To start, we go to desmos.com and click Graphing Calculator. Next, we click the Show Keypad button in the lower left-hand corner. Click Functions. Click the Distributions tab. Click Normal Distribution. Next, we enter the mean and standard deviation. The mean is 30, comma. The standard deviation of the sample means is 10 divided by the square root of 50. It's better to use the exact value rather than the decimal approximation. Next, click the Zoom Fit button, which is the magnifying glass in cell one. And now we have a nice graph of the distribution of the sample means. Next, click the Find Cumulative Probability box in cell one. To find the probability that x bar is greater than 27, we change the minimum value to 27 leave the maximum value at infinity. Notice how this does shade the area under the curve to the right of 27. This area is equal to the probability x bar is greater than 27, which is shown at the bottom of cell one as approximately 0 0.9831. Which is equal to 98.31%. Number four, we're asked to find the probability that the sample mean age is between 29 and 31, which is the probability that x bar is greater than 29 and less than 31. Going back to the graph, we change the min value to 29, the max value to 31. Enter, close the keypad. Notice the area between 29 and 31 is shaded below the curve. At the bottom of cell one, we have the probability x is between 29 and 31 as approximately 0 0.5205. And for our last question, we're asked to find the 70th percentile for the sample mean age to one decimal place. If we let k equal the 70th percentile, let's say k is approximately here, where this age is greater than or equal to 70% of the other sample mean ages, and therefore the area under the curve to the left is equal to 0.7. Notice how this also means the area to the right of k would be 0.3. But when using technology, we almost always need the area to the left. We can also say the probability that x bar is less than k, the 70th percentile, is equal to 0 
And now let's go to Desmos.com and determine K. We're going to go to cell 2, open the keypad, click Functions, and now we will click on the inverse CDF function. Go back to Functions, click Normal Distribution, and then we enter the same mean and standard deviation as above. So 30, comma, 10 divided by square root 50. Right arrow, right arrow, close parenthesis, comma, and now we enter the area to the left of k, which we know is 0 0.7. Enter, and we are given the 70th percentile to one decimal place is approximately 30.7. To check this, we're going to go back up to cell 1, and let's change the minimum back to negative infinity by clearing 29. And if we click out of the cell, the default of negative infinity returns, and then we enter the maximum of our 70th percentile, which again is approximately 30.7. I'm going to enter 30.74 for more accuracy and notice how the area to the left is approximately 0 0.7. And notice how the area to the left is approximately 0 0.7, indicating we did find the 70th percentile. But again, to one decimal place, we have 30.7. So if the 70th percentile is 30.7 years, which means 70% of the sample mean ages are less than or equal to 30.7 years. I hope you found this helpful.